We're here at the International Forum for Water and Food and we're in South Africa and we're playing the Happy Strategies game. And we have a group here, uh, Justice from Zimbabwe, MK from Zimbabwe. My name is Alan Duncan, I'm working in Ethiopia and we have Jens who is based in... No, I'm based in Nairobi and working in the Nile. You work in the Nile, okay. Good. So this Happy Strategies game is about putting together different rainwater management practices within the landscape to develop uh, an overall strategy to improve livelihoods and to prevent environmental degradation. So we had a, a discussion trying to identify some of the issues around rainwater management in this hypothetical landscape and we came up with things like erosion as a problem, soil fertility as a problem, low yields, low access to markets, problems with storage of water for the dry season, deforestation is an issue and so on. And then we had a series of these cards which are practices, for example this one is woodlots and we tried to split the landscape into three zones, the highland zone, the midland zone and the lowland zone. So what we came up with was in the highland zone um, there was a suggestion that it, it might be possible to introduce fruit production in the highland zone based on orchard, orchards and maybe some timber production as well. But that would require quite a lot of technical, technical input and also some fairly um, specialized inputs. In the Midland Zone, obviously erosion is a big problem um, and soil fertility is a problem. So combinations of buns to prevent soil, uh, to prevent runoff and soil erosion, but combined with um, measures to improve soil fertility. And in the Lowland Zone, which is prone to flooding, um, there was a suggestion that we need to establish some micro dams and potentially some ponds. And then, so that's all very well. These are the kind of practices we identified, but then how do we actually go about bringing these in? And it was clear that there was quite a lot of system failures. So one key issue is that a lot of these interventions require collective action, and that's not really happening at the moment in, in the, the landscape. So the real need for, in terms of intervention, is some kind of farmer organization or development of cooperatives. And those would help to link farmers to markets, they would help to provide clusters of farmers for training, uh, they might help to introduce participatory approaches. The key for developing these farmer organizations is the incentives for farmers to get together and we thought about various incentives for building these farmer groups including economic incentives where input supply was based on group formation, perhaps introducing some self-help group models or credit and savings models because a lot of these interventions are quite capital intensive and for all this to happen there would need to be some serious NGO involvement with experience in, in building farmer, uh, farmer groups and that was the strategy that we came up with. The game I was just saying, we, ra we did this game in Bahadar a couple of months ago. This, w this landscape was based on a hype, an Ethiopian landscape and we had the only person in the group who had experience in Ethiopia was myself. And we found it quite difficult really to, to work out what needed to happen in this landscape, partly because we all come from very different landscapes. So it was less easy than when we ran the game in Bahadar, I think. Some useful discussion, and we learned a lot through through the process. It was very useful, basically encompassing almost all the strategies that are needed in any any person. Was the problems that are in this particular hypothetical situation seem to apply in almost all the persons, including the persons that we actually come from. All the approaches we need to involve the concerned stakeholder, that is the farmer himself, they must be involved from the onset of the project as that will honor it and create sustainability. Once that uh, if the ownership is built, then uh, the program is sustainable. Now when I learned a lot about these uh, the, uh, the strategies, not the strategies, but the um, 
intervention me uh, measures we were discussing. Um, different opinions whether they work or not from the different basins, and uh, that was quite interesting. But this um, tillage thing was interesting, and the um, what else? Um, Sabine, she said something that worked very well in in the Volta, which was didn't you said doesn't apply at all in the in the Ethiopian Highlands. I know it was like yeah, it was the help desk. So participatory participation of the community that she she thought as given, and that was our main problem actually. Yeah. So there's a lot of things we take for granted coming from a particular basin, whereas people coming from another basin might have a very different perspective. So that was quite an interesting outcome. Of the day. Yeah.